Hey, this is Nick the Mining Book Guy. It is very early morning, Monday, December 12th, 2016. And this is the Orca Gold series video number three focused on newsletter support. Um, and before I get into some specifics, I want to just show you the uh, three-month chart at TMX Money, which I go to on a regular basis. Um, this is a little bit of a review of... Um, some st uh, information in a previous video. I'll link those at the end of this one. But uh, you can see here just the three month chart, roughly at, yeah, at, at 36 cents in early October is when I first started buying shares in Orca. And I bought all the way up to 51 cents, which now we can see was clearly a short term top. So I kind of wish I didn't. Things came down a bit here, um, going all the way to the beginning of December, like much of the rest of the, the especially the gold market. Um, but look, you get a little bit of a lift and, um, you know, it's kind of, yeah, settled at 36 cents, but clearly above the beginning of December. What's very important here is I have realized that um, this action definitely was related to newsletter support. And I actually believe that this action was also related to newsletter support. And I'll explain why now. The gold investment letter. So this guy here, his name is Eric Mushinsky, and he runs this letter. And I am on the free list. And I um, saw that clearly this letter is supporting Orca Gold and telling subscribers to buy. Even if you're not part of the list, you could have figured this out just by going to the Twitter handle. And I am now a subscriber, sorry, or I guess follower of the Twitter handle, but look right here, December 8th, put out a strong buy. So boom, okay, official, even if you, you don't know anything about the newsletter. Um, actually, this is important, five years, five dollars. I Basically, I already, you know, love this just based on this little information. I know for sure that there were no warrants in a recent placement. I know for sure that this newsletter is supporting it. And I also, I'm you know, pretty sure that this is not some short term pump and dump or, or short term anything. This is about making money throughout this cycle, which is exactly what I want to do too. So I don't know. I honestly did never, you know, talked with Eric Mashinsky or, you know, even followed this newsletter that closely, but I'm already really intrigued and I'm really happy. It's great to get this type of support, um, you know, early on in a company's life cycle. But really importantly, I'll take a step back. Let's pretend I have no idea who Eric Mushinsky is and I, you know, no idea about newsletters or whatnot. Well, I am at the Orca Gold website and I'm showing you a specific news release. This is um, November 4th and you could, you could find this on Sadar or other places. But read here, Orca Gold announces closing of private placement. So it's just a basic news release telling you what's happening. And actually, um, I, I, I'll, I'll just make a point. Um, 34 cents per common share. This, there's, this was a, a significant discount to the price um, when it was announced, but there were no warrants. So overall, I, I'm you know fine with how that worked out. And, and I, I think that um, there's no funny business here. But what's actually the most important um, you know, interesting aspect here is this one line, 8% finder's fee um, from investors introduced by Eric Mashinsky and Haywood. Hey, Haywood is a pretty well-known, you know, securities firm, but Eric Mashinsky, so like assuming I didn't know who the heck he was, this is, th use this incredibly basic tool every time you find funny stuff, cut and paste, and go to Google. <laughs> I'm telling you, a lot of people don't do this. This was a month ago. Boom, Eric Mushinsky. He's got a unique name, and you you learn so much immediately. Actually, I'm really impressed. I'm, I'm not going to check out his LinkedIn right now, but you can on your own time. He's got a very impressive resume. Obviously, very well connected. Um, that in itself is valuable. But again, gold investment letter. So a month ago, I could have known something like this was going to happen, and and I did. And 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 to be honest, I I I was starting to get a feel that things were happening through some private, um, you know, connections I had. So like, I'm, I'm trying to be upfront. Like I talked to people about, you know, these things. And even though I'm not a paid subscriber, I had an idea something was happening, but even if you had no connections, you could have figured this out on your own, like that something was going to happen. So, you know, regardless, this is great news. I love to see newsletter support. I, I also want to bring um, home a couple other points. One, 
Um, I don't want to go into the specifics of what Eric said to, you know, respect um, the information, even though it's free, like you, you should become a you know, free subscriber to him. It doesn't cost you anything. And then you'll be able to see, you know, content from his future picks. But, but the one point I'll make is that's so easy. This is, this is the best all-star team I can think of, you know, anywhere in the world. I honestly, you've got the Lundins backing this. You've got the Redback team, which are super successful. And now you've got Ross Beattie. I mean, it's, it's excellent. So I'm on the same page with Eric there. But um, I did gain some additional respect for Eric after reading this. And, uh, you know, quick shout, anonymous shout out to one of my YouTube subscribers for sending me this link. Because I, again, I, I, I do check the Gold Investment Letter occasionally. But this is actually one of the best things I've read. And this is a free link um, on, on the blog. Um, this is a very long article. Um, the first half is what I really would recommend. There's some picks, you know, later on in it, but once you start getting to the middle, there's actually this really cool section. This is actually from Charlie Bellello's pension partners report. Um, I just want to bring this to your attention that this is a great application of some of the biggest winners outside of the resource sector, but explaining you can have huge drawdowns that people are not aware of, like, you know, Amazon going down 80% in in 2000. I mean, just absolutely just crushed. But honestly, no one can you know predict these things in advance. You always want to have core positions in the really, you know, you know, high conviction holdings and in the ones that you think are going to be the big winners, because you don't, you can't trade in and out and, you know, get the timing just right. And, and you will make ridiculous returns if, if you pick the right stocks and you just, you know, buy right, sit tight. I mean, you've heard that, that before too. So I just want to say this was really well written. Um, so it's worth checking out Eric's website, you know, for some of the blog posts, I think it's worth, you know, subscribing for free and, and, you know, up, to be upfront about this, I don't pay for anybody's newsletters. I'm not an accredited investor and, and I just want to bring that up as well. Um, if you're an accredited investor, there's often a lot more you can get out of newsletters. And I know for sure with the gold investment letter that, you, you, you can get more, um, out of, out of a lot of the companies and the same, the same applies to some others, but, uh, what's, you know, what's wrong with subscribing to all as many free newsletters as you can. And that's what I do. So I, if you're a newbie, I absolutely recommend you do that. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, I, it's, it's, I, I just want to say I'm retail. I actually think Orca is a very retail friendly, um, company, but uh, not all companies out there are like that. So that's just, just something to be aware of. And one other thing, um, there's an interesting parallel here with how Orca um, uh, basically now has official newsletter support. There might be other newsletters out there, but this is the one I know about. When I made a video for Sarama uh, Resources, one of my other top picks you know, back in April 2016, somewhat coincidentally, uh, Ben Kramer Miller, uh, another newsletter writer, he made it an official pick then too. So I just want to say I'm feeling the positive momentum because that actually worked out really well for Sarama. And I, it's still a top pick of mine, but like I see the parallels with Orca, even though it's a different company. So like that, you know, there's good stuff going on. I feel like there's going to be some good news releases and who knows, there could be some other newsletters that are going to be supporting this company as well. So this is about, you know, you know, something that's pretty simple, but it's a really important aspect of an early life of a junior to start seeing the support come on. Um, just to prove that I'm not a Johnny come lately, uh, <laughs> I, this, this is in my, my other, um, my other videos as well, but this is CEO.ca. This is the Orca room, you know, ORG is the ticker. And I've been posting on this company since January 6, 2016, and I've been following it longer than that. So I just wanted to say like, you know, it's, it's not that I picked it way back then, but I've been following this for a while, but you should check out my other videos if you haven't yet. And this is just a list of all my videos. We can see here, Orca series number one, Orca series number two, and I'm going to keep making them. But those ones are a little longer, but, um, this is definitely one of my top picks and I've got plenty more information in there. I'll have some links up on those right now. You can scroll down um, on your YouTube page in the notes for additional links. And besides this, I just want to point out, I haven't really talked about negatives with Orca yet. That's definitely going to come in a future series. I mean, obviously there's the Sudan issue. There's also a water issue, but please, please, please keep in mind, do your own due diligence, do your own research. I, I really should emphasize this all the time. So despite all the positives I'm mentioning, 
always do your own research, but this is a company I am really excited about. I have a lot of money in this. So just wanted to be clear on that. And otherwise, uh, I thank you for watching. Uh, yeah, please check out my other videos. Uh, you know, like, share, and subscribe uh, to the Mining Book Guy channel. So this is Nick the Mining Book Guy. Talk to you soon. Bye.